Hello guys, welcome back. In this lesson we will finish our project setup by installing Prettier, which is an awesome tool for automated code formatting. Many professional developers and companies are using it to make code style unified and to prevent conflicts in code reviews. And how does it work? Well, it's simple. First, you install Prettier package and then you create a Prettier configuration file, where you set your linting rules and there is a lot of options. I'm gonna show you the most important ones, which I use on daily basis. If you want to learn more about Prettier, feel free to visit Prettier.io website and there is a lot of resources to learn from and of course, full documentation. So let's start. First, let's open terminal again and we need to add one more dependency. So type npm install Prettier and hit enter. And this one should be pretty fast. And now we need to create a Prettier RC file into the root of the project. So type touch dot Prettier RC. And let me close terminal. And now you should see it on the left. And if you are using VS Code icons, you should also see this nice Prettier icon. And if you click on it, we have an empty file. So let's now specify our configuration rules. So first is semi and I want to set it to false. And basically what it does, it will automatically remove all the semicolons in your code because I, pref I personally don't like using semicolons, especially in JavaScript. Next one is single quotes and I'm gonna set it to true because I personally prefer single quotes over the double quotes. Then I want to specify that I want to use tabs. So again, I'm going to set this to true. Then I will set the top width and I'm going to leave it to two as a default value. Then we have a bracket spacing and I'm going to set it to true. And last two things is arrow parents. I'm going to leave it on avoid and also trail and comma and I'm going to change it to ES5 style. And again, this is my personal configuration. If you don't like something, feel free to change it. For example, if you want to use semicolons, just set it to true. And you know, for example, you can even remove things or add something more from the Prettier IO documentation if you are interested. But this is pretty default setup, which I'm using in many of my projects. So if you do it like this, you should be good to go. So that's it for Prettier and we can move on and start writing some Puppeteer code.